Okay, so the last build I wanted to show is um, basically a DPS build for Legendary. Artists, that's how I'm using it. And obviously you can use it on uh, Heroic and um, Challenging and, you know, below. But since I'm mostly doing speedruns, for me it's not the best um, build to speedrun because well, I'm going to explain why. Let me show you the specialization that I choose. That I chose. It's um, the sharpshooter. Now I'm using the sharpshooter for this. 15% increased headshot damage with rifles. I'm going to be using a rifle. And for this attachment here. Okay. So the build. It's basically the exact same build that uh, that this one, or this one, uh, this one, sorry. But instead of the perfect glass cannon or the spotter chest here, I'm going to be using a focus piece. Okay, so I still have the three piece providence, vigilance on the backpack. And this is all I could get. Uh, I have a weapon ending here that I don't really like. I would like to have some crit chance or crit damage. But yeah, I, I need to farm some Providence defense. I can never get what I want when I'm farming Providence defense, but this is what I uh, will want for legendary. And specifically, I made this build when I was doing the summit. It's a build I used to clear um, I cleared the floor 21 to 90 playing solo and um, this was the build that I used and it made it really easy and it's a build you can use on legendary on solo legendary too so focus will increase your total weapon damage by 5% every second you are aiming while scoped up to 15% that's 10 seconds. So even if you're just aiming, scoping for um, five seconds, you're go you're already gonna have 25% damage buff. So it's a really good um, talent for damage. The only problem with this talent is that it requires a scope of at least eight time magnification or higher. And I don't for a speed run for a heroic speed run or challenging or whatever you don't want to be zoomed in all the time you know you want to be able to move around to see what's going on around you and zooming in all the time is not gonna let you do that so it's really a bit that I made specifically for legendary and for the summit but it's also if you're doing a speedrun on heroic for instance and a good example for this would be Wall Street if you're doing a, a solo on Wall Street on Heroic, what I would do, I would probably go with a bit like this, with a spotter chest for the most of the mission, probably the entire mission. But at the end, right before Dragov and Knuckle and Ron showed up, when they show up, right before they show up, I would switch to this build. So I would have even more damage and I'm not going to be bothered by the zooming because all you need to do during this fight is kill the three bosses and then the few NPCs that you get. But since you have to be aiming at the head for knuckle and run, you can actually you use this build um, for very specific parts, even in speedruns. But I wouldn't do a, an entire speedrun with this because if you have to be zoom, zoomed in all the time, Unless you're playing on Legendary, this won't be ideal. But this is really good for Legendary because you get that extra damage up to 15 to 50%. So it's better than the 15% from Spotter. It's even better than the 30% from the Perfect Glass Cannon. And you don't get that penalty of 60%. So for Legendary, 
like when I was playing the summit, actually we're gonna go on the summit right now. I'm gonna show you. I just learned yesterday that you could uh, actually match make for the summit and I mean match make for for the floor you are in because I, I wasn't I didn't uh, I didn't know you could do that I tried doing it and I couldn't like I had reached uh, I had reached floor 70 I think 71 we need you to secure a skyscraper and then I take a while hope you cleared your schedule then I wanted to do this with the you know with the squad and climb up the but I didn't know how to do it so I would just match make from the outside and when you match make I would match make for um, yeah I would match make for heroic and heroic is gonna be from floor 51 to 80 so I would I would match make from the outside and I would get you know I was there and I would start here with the squad and I was like no I don't <laughs> I don't want to have to do f 20 floors just to get to where I was at the beginning but then yesterday I played with um, some clan mates and one of the one of the clan mates told me that uh, you can just um, go to the floor you want to like I've reached uh, 91 and then when you're up there you can um, I think I haven't tried actually. I think you can just match make and have people join you at your current uh, level. Let me check that. Oh, so I have directives on special ammo, fog of war, cool skills, okay. Let me see. Okay, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Actually, I thought I had this covered, but... I actually can't match make. I mean, I can call for backup, but that's really not what this is about, right? I don't know. But anyway, this is not what we're here for. So, again, I have three-piece provenance. Vigilance focus, and uh, I um I had to switch my um uh, I decided to switch my contractor's gloves, and I don't know if that's a good idea. I usually use this for the damage to armor, but there I went for a Seshka to get that um, extra crit chance, and then Grupo Sombra for the crit damage, and the uh, proxy sprayer, obviously. Then I'm going to be using a shield again. I'm using the hive as a safety net. But it's cool skill, so I'm going to have to. I may not be able to use it. And. Um, did I go over this? I forgot to go over this. So. The spec that I'm using here. Is this one that you get with the um, uh, the sharpshooter sp specialization because it gives you 45% headshot damage which is huge and the thing is with the focus even if you're not hitting your headshots you're still gonna do a lot of damage obviously you're gonna want to be trying to, to aim at the head but even if you don't it's gonna be it's gonna be great um, critical chance and same here I have this um, as a backup weapon and I have the same spec here for the headshot uh, might not be the best thing to have for an AR because it's gonna be tough to get the headshot but hey I'm trying it and uh, yeah that's that's about it Right, let's just want to show you how how good it, it is 
Obviously it's legendary so I'm gonna be very cautious, I'm gonna play from a distance, I'm gonna not gonna rush in and play like crazy. The strategy I have for solo legendary is just to wait for the enemies to come at me basically. So if I can get them to come at a, a place I, I chose where I feel safe, I'm just gonna wait for them to come to me and just gonna kill them. Oh, this is a perfect example. See, I'm just gonna stay here. You see how how fast they are they're dying, right? Now this is a bit risky, so I'm gonna back up because my shit is is done. I don't know where the enemies are because of fog of war, so there could be an enemy like right there. There could be a tank coming to me with a hive that's why on legendary I'm obviously I'm only doing this you know to show you the build but if you're playing legendary oh, this is the first floor so if I die I'm okay but you want to be really really careful because see I have cool skills so not even the hive can save me and you really really want to be careful I had a I had a when I was on floor 89 or 88, I think, I thought the wave was was over, and I was like, "Oh well, this is um, this is good." And I jumped in in a room, and actually the wave wasn't wasn't over, and I almost died because I got the you know the one that launched the the grenades, you know, that spam you with grenades. And I got two of them at the same time targeting me and I got I almost almost wiped there. <laughs> God, that was very scary. So on the legendary you don't wanna you don't wanna be your hero. Just take your time, let them come to you, especially when you're on floor ninety one because you have the, the directive on and you can't see where the enemies are. Hello. And you get a decent amount of enemies, maybe about 15 or 20 or something along those lines. So, you know, th those are the guys that I was talking about. These guys are the freaking nasty men. So when something like that happens, uh, happens, I don't have my shield. I'm just gonna back up. I, I can't back up very far because the elevator is right here. But you need to be wary of your environment. Know where you can go back um, I can also go over there but there oh yeah I can go over there if I need to back up this is stuff especially on the upper floors when you don't have a checkpoint where you want to be you want to know you want to know that you can come back here up to here and let the enemies come to you So they have special uh, ammunition, I think it's shock rounds, I'm not sure. And I, I haven't seen footage of the of the summit. I really I'm rediscovering it as uh, as I'm playing it, which is nice. I made the mistake of starting at floor one. I I, I knew that you could um, fuck. I hate this. I knew that you could start at fifteen. Uh, 50, 51, but I figured, hey, it's a new new content and stuff. If I'm gonna do this, I, I want to do this right. I want to start from the first floor, and it was a huge mistake because after, by the end of floor 12 or 15, I was already like, man, this is this is getting boring. This is very really repetitive. But hey, I did the first 15 floor by myself. Then I got really, really. Um, bored by it I th I think I went to I, I think I did another 10 floors then I joined squad I thought it would be more fun and I went up to uh, floor 
A1 with squad and then yesterday I joined um, clan mates um, on floor 84 I think or 86 I can't remember I think it was for floor 84 and we went up to floor 86 but we were in a squad of four and we would just die is this over? Nope. Oh, but it's a drone. I think it's over. I'm not sure. Yeah. Must be. So you don't have to get into that, um, that z zone here, right? My uh, advice, especially if you're playing solo, if you get something like this, just kill all the enemies. And when you're done with the enemies, then you're gonna go into the zone because otherwise it's very risky. That's really that's that's how you play legendary. Unless you're like if you feel very confident about your skills, then you know do as you please. But if you want to play safe, just stay at the safe place, ki kill everyone, and when everyone is dead, then you can move around. Because you see the 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 guy that throw the grenades, man, they mess you up. My shield got destroyed in one grenade then again I'm gonna stay back here I'm not being a hero I know I can go back over there I have to remember that I I can't go left here I need to go I need, if I need to back up, I'm gonna have to go there. There's no way out over there, okay? So I need to remember if I need to... To run away, I'm gonna be doing something like this, you know? It's always nice to be aware of where you can go and where you can't go. Honestly, I'm still amazed at how, how much damage I'm able to output. It's and obviously, you're not going to be able to do the same amount of damage if you're playing in the full squad. It's going to be. That's why I actually like to play solo and legendary, especially in the summit. It's not like you're playing a mission. It's actually much more. It's actually easier. If you're playing on the full squad. I think you're gonna want to have um, proper builds, you're gonna want to have two or three DPS with very strong builds and you're gonna want to have a very good CC build. I hate those guys. Where is he? I want him to stop moving. See if I can get a pistol kill here. I almost had my hive, but I would need to get my shield to keep my shield up all the time, which is something I, I could do, but. So yeah, anyway, that's all I wanted to do. I'm not going to be doing the 10th floor, floor now. Uh, I might actually have to... Uh, this time, I might actually watch um, videos about w what the last 10 floors are about, if there are any surprises, because... You know... I don't want to start over. Obviously, you get some checkpoint, I think, but I don't want to, you know, die and have to redo two or three floors because usually I only have time to do 10 floors at a time and if I'm not able to get the, them from in one go usually it's gonna take too much time so I just give up 
But yeah, anyway, you can see this build is really, really strong, and you can do pretty much all the waves like this. Any waves, you can just stay in the back and let the enemies come to you. Just gonna check out what the. I'm gonna see what the next wave is about. Okay, let's do this wave, maybe. Oh, striker drone, okay. No hostages. I don't know what this is exactly, so... I don't know if it's the, the uh, a time where you have to do the, the hacking. I don't know. But I'm gonna be played safe. I think it's... Over the... What? Oh, I'm in combat, okay. Well, never mind then. Oh yeah, this is by far the the hardest one I think. I don't think I think it's an endless wave. I'm not sure, so I'm I'm gonna be able to test that theory actually. I think the the drone they keep coming after you until you until you uh, hack the thing, and that's that's um, a type of activity that I've consistently died over and over again on challenging on hard i think I, I died twice to this wave i died on challenging i've died on heroic and i've never had it on legendary yet so we're gonna see if um, i can get to a point where there are no more drones because otherwise i'm pretty sure i'm gonna die and if i had jammer pulse If I had Jammer Pulse, I would be fine, but I might be able to back up and, and up to the point where I'm not um, in fight mode and I can switch my loadout. I mean, I could just use a Jammer Pulse there, but I don't think they're moving. Alright, let's go. Oh, well, not moving, because I'm going to try to hack one maybe of the... This one is moving. I don't think they see me actually, right? Uh, they do. Okay. This is the, <laughs> the activity that I hate the most. The issue I have with this activity is that whenever you press the the um, I, I need to stay in the in the zone. Whenever you press the, the button to the key Shut up. You're exposed and you, you get shot at by the drones. Now I'm lucky because they are actually far away. Yeah. Usually you get them all around you, and they spawn right behind you, on the left, on the right, behind. It's like, and you, you can't. And since you have the the one that explodes, you can't you can't get to cover. You just can't. But this is actually the, the easiest one I've had in the entire summit. Yeah, I've never had a, a drone fight this easy. Let's see. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Because they all spawn from that direction. It's it's so easy. Terminal accessed. That was that was pretty bad. <laughs> this is 
this isn't how I wanted to showcase my build. Let me do another wave. Or half a wave maybe. Thank you for misleading me. Let's wait, uh, let's wait 10 seconds, right? And one shot. Not even. What? This is why you need to know the layout of the, the map. I, uh, I didn't know why I was about to to fall back. I don't know how many how many enemies are. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, they can only come through that door. This is also something you want to know. You don't want to be like this and you know have a, somebody flank you from behind. But this is the only door they can get through. I don't like this this spot man. Just gonna stay over there. My support station is not gonna save you. <laughs> so fast man. I don't wanna get caught by the um, the special ammunition. It's a very very bad one. The shocking the shock rounds are very very bad. Because they mobilize you. Jesus Christ. And this is why you really need to be very careful with the um, It's legendary. What? Why am I... Did you throw an EMP at me? I didn't... This is um, the safest place I can go. It's a straight line. Oh, you're dead. Normally I would just stay here, right? Uh, if I was being careful, I would just stay here, wait a bit longer, but I'm not actually trying to to get to floor 100. Not right now, I will do that some other day. What is this? I don't really like, like the layout of this uh, part. I like to get uh, on cover on my left side like this. I don't like to be like this. So, you know, I, I, I would love to have a cover over there. Like if I had like a, a big fridge here, I would just stay behind. And I mean, I could go here, but you see last time it got a bit um, dangerous here. So what am I supposed to do exactly here? Fuck. Man. <laughs> I can't see him. She's 
kind of annoying, but... Oh, I killed him. Okay. So I'm gonna have to reach the, the computer, I take it. God! Legendary, man. It, it will give you heart attacks. Look at this. Man, it's far from over. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Again, I, I don't... I don't uh, like being, uh, you know, destroyed by a uh, grenade, so... I'm just gonna hide. Airburst. Airburst grenades. That's what they called. I've been looking for that word for a while. Can you just come over there? Fuck, you see I was too impatient. She's not something I would do. If I was actually trying to clear the... the room, I would be very careful. You can see that at least one enemy over there. Pendeja. What did she say? Did she say pendeja? I think <laughs> I'm not sure if she said that. I don't think I've ever heard any enemies. I don't think they have um I don't think they have a sp they have Spanish NPC. But I thought I heard pendeja. Anyway, I'm just gonna try and see if I can stop this. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. I just wanted to show the, the, this build. As you can see, it's pretty good. You can use it for legendary content. You just have to be, play carefully. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.